So we completed ingest bug data using Scoop and using Golden Gate. Now we are going to replicate data from Oracle to Kafka. So Oracle Golden Gate for big data provides a built-in component to replicate changes captured by Golden Gate. Whatever data is changed is captured by Golden Gate and then you can replicate those into Kafka. Let's see what Kafka is. Apache Kafka is a distributed streaming platform. What exactly does that mean? A streaming platform has three capabilities. Publish and subscribe to streams of records similar to a message queue or enterprise. So you could take a messages and you could publish those in a streaming fashion. You can either publish them, you can subscribe them, and you can store the streams of the records in a fault torrent durable way. So you can store those also. The process streams of records as they occur. So as the as they real time as they occur, you can process those streams. So think of the stock ticker. You use that for a streaming platform. So similarly, any prices change, anything which keeps changing, you can stream that. So Kafka generally used for two broad applications, classes of applications, building real-time streaming data pipelines that reliably get data between two systems or applications, or building real-time streaming applications that transform or react to the stream. So you could have an application could could react to what the data. So if you, again, look at the stock market, you could set up in order to buy a certain stock when, he, when it hits a a certain price and as the stream comes through and it matches your requirements it will uh, execute that order so this is how it can be used so let's go into the lab the first thing what we need to do is we need to start and uh, uh, start and stop some services which are oracle database zookeeper and kafka so back to our virtual machine And I'm going to, just for ease of use, close everything. This was from the last class. And we're going to just keep the integrator open. So in order for us to stop and start services, we've done this in the past. We need Oracle. We need Zookeeper. We're going to close HDFS, close Hive. Make sure Oracle is clicked. Then use the down arrow. We want Kafka. And we don't want Ian for this time. So we're going to start those services. Next thing what we are going to do is start the Kafka server. So Kafka uses Zookeeper. So you need to first start the Zookeeper server if you've already not done it. So let's go and start up one of the terminals. We'll wait for this uh, services to finish. So once that is done, we're going to run the command to check if the Kafka server service is up. And it's up. Next thing what we're going to do is create a topic. So topic again is the publisher or the subscriber. So let's create a Kafka topic named our topic. So let's do this. Copy. Just want to clear the screen is so we can read what's going on. This is what starts the consumer. So you're going to start the consumer as we talked about its publisher and consumer, which consumes the published topics. So what you, you notice, it's the last three rows which we had updated in the previous lesson. So now we are going to send some text test messages. Uh, so Kafka comes with the command line client. So let's run the producer. 
So we're going to open another server. And this is going to be a producer server. So it started. So we have two. We have a subscriber. And let me make this smaller. This is the producer. This is the subscriber. So let's put some test messages here. As you see, we are seeing that being test four. This is how it replicates. So from the producer, the subscriber. So this is how the streams work. Now we are going to work with the Kafka handler. So set up replication from Oracle. Start a terminal in Windows. So we are going to start another terminal. This time we are going to log into the database. First, we make sure we have the process running, the golden gate. We've done this in the past. We're going to run the big data obey file. So to start the Oracle Golden Gate Manager, add Kafka Replicate and start Kafka Replicate. So let's do that. Already exist. Start. Kafka is running. That's what it's saying. Let's do info all. We've got all of them running, the replicate for Kafka. Now let's start the extract process. I'm going to open one more. Paste it here. We'll start the extract process. GGSI. Make sure when you open many of those, you are entering into the right window because we have already started the interpreter. We can again do info all. Once it's done, extract is running. Now, what we are going to do is log into the Oracle database. I'm going to open one more. It's you're able to log into the database, Oracle database. We are going to do a insert.
commit completed. Now, when I did that, you notice we are seeing the replicate here already. So any changes which are done, so if, we, if I were to uh, insert another value, for example, if I were to insert another value and just name this, uh, give it a different ID so it does not error out, we can do that. So I did that, and what you see is we've got another uh, ID coming through. So, so this way you can get the streaming of data done. So we see that it's created that, and Kafka Consumer Console gets all these updates. So if we were to do one more and make this uh, just change it something different, so it's unique. I copy that, and I go to this one, paste, enter, and then do commit. And there it is. You see another update showing up in Kafka server. So that's it, uh, explaining about how you can utilize Kafka.